I'm honestly getting kind of emotional because pizza is like my favorite food. What's up? What's up, punks? We're back with another video. And today, oh, okay. Let's not talk about that. Today, we're gonna be doing a cooking with Patrick because who doesn't love a good baking or like cooking video, you know? And yeah, we're gonna be making pizza. And let me show you something. You see this? Healthy bread recipes and more. And menu planner. And you know where I got this from? I got this from somewhere special. I'll show you. This. You may be wondering, what is this? It looks like some circa 1800s type of stuff, but right there, bread man. This is, it's a bread maker. So, I found this and I was like, wow, this is really old. Like, I wonder if it still works. And pizza, bread in it. And I was like, why not make some pizza dough? Because I was just flipping through this recipe book. And if you go to page 17, pizza dough. So that's what we're going to make today. So I'm going to just put this thing off to the side, like right here. And... First, what we gotta do is prepare the dough to go in there. Let me get all the ingredients. So today, we're gonna be making a 15 inch pizza and it requires warm water, olive oil, all purpose flour, salt, sugar, and yeast. So, let me go get those. I got the warm water, I got the olive oil, I got the flour. Look at this, save 25 cents. You know I'm all about that coupon life. Gotta save those coins. I got the salt. I mean, I don't need any more salt in my life, but I'll make this exception because pizza's really good. What was next? I got the sugar and I finally got the yeast. Um, I don't use this stuff often. It's just kind of weird if you think about it. Like, there's like living stuff in here. Wait, does that mean yeast is not vegan? I don't know, cause yeast is alive. I don't know exactly what it is. Isn't it like a fungus or something? Does that make it vegan or not? So now I gotta find a bowl to mix all this in. Like a big bowl, you know? A big bowl. I think this bowl's pretty big. It like covers my face and I think it'll hold everything. So let's use that. So I got my measuring cups and spoons, and we're ready to roll. Okay, first step. Add all the ingredients to the bread pan in the order given. Bread pan? There a bread pan in here? I gotta find this bread pan, hold on. Okay, I think I found it. This looks like the same shape as the bread maker, and there's like this thingy that you put like I hope this works. I got it, it worked. So I guess we don't even need this big bowl. What a shame. So first we're gonna put in the water. It asks for one and one eighth cup warm water. One eighth cup, who has a one eighth cup? I literally only have a one fourth cup. Do people actually have a one? Those people probably have their life together, honestly. How many spoons is a one eighth cup? You know, I could just fill this up halfway cause one fourth times one half is one eighth, quick maths. But I wanna be as accurate as possible cause I actually want this to taste good cause pizza is my favorite food and if it doesn't taste good, I might actually be very sad. So let's see, one eighth cup is two tablespoons. Oh, okay. So just two of these. So it said one eighth cup, so that's two tablespoons. Okay, wait, before we do this, I'm gonna do an experiment. So I have my one fourth cup, 
if I put the two tablespoons in here, will it actually be half of it? You know, it's half. I guess they weren't lying. So now we need the one and a half TBL olive oil. It's TBL tablespoon. Cause I thought tablespoon was always TBSP. Whatever, I'm just gonna do tablespoons. Here we go. So now we need to add the flour and we need oh, three cups. Dang, that's a lot of flour. I've never used three cups of flour for something before. So now we gotta add the salt. We need one and a half teaspoons of it. So now we need the same amount of sugar, the same one and a half teaspoons, which I guess makes sense. It'll like cancel out each other because you have like the bitter salt and then the sweet sugar. So now we've finally gotten to the yeast. We only need one and a half teaspoons. So like, why do they sell it in packets of three? That's so much. One packet says it's two and a quarter teaspoons. So like, I need like half of this. Okay, so this is kind of weird, like, oh, I just spilled that everywhere. I always thought yeast was weird, because like all that yeast in there is alive. It's Who put you in there? Who captured you? Are you okay? Okay, so we got all the ingredients in here, and now we just have to figure out how to use this thing. I didn't even turn this on yet. Imagine if this doesn't even turn on, and I just did all of this for nothing. Let's hope it turns on. I think it works. So now I guess we're just gonna press start. One hour? This is gonna take one hour? Are you kidding me? I wanna eat this now. So now it's like mixing and stuff. So I guess now we just have to wait a whole hour cause I guess that's how long it has to take. No one asked you to take your time. So, what do you guys wanna talk about? You know, I think I'll just go like take a nap or something. Hot, so we're like 10 minutes in and I'm looking at this and I'm like, this isn't like turning into a dough at all. So I looked at the recipe book and it wasn't one eighth cup water, it was one and one eighth cup water. So I'm gonna put that in real quick. There we go, look at that. It's a piece of cake, make a pretty cake If the way is hazy You gotta do the cooking by the book You know you can't be lazy Never use a messy recipe The cake will end up crazy If you do the cooking by the book Then you'll have a Bring it down, bitch! Let me see you back it up! Drop that ass down, load it, pick that motherfucker up! Bring it down, bitch! It's done! Okay. I guess it kinda did rise. It didn't rise that much. Actually, yeah, the, that's a good lump of dough. There's like some pieces here, but, ooh, that's good. Okay, let me get a board. So I got this nice wooden board. It's pretty warm. Okay, so now I have to flatten this out. And the recipe says that it's a 15 inch pizza. I'm kind of scared. I don't want this to break. Should I try and like, I don't even know if that's doing anything. Let's see where this is at. It's at 10 inches right now. We need five more. Oh, you know what'll work well? This, this is really heavy. This is solid marble. So I think this should do the job. Oh yeah, that works so good. Yes, it's 15. 
So now I'm gonna do this trick to get really good crust because I'm a professional chef and I know what I'm doing. What you wanna do is like one inch from the edge, so like right about here, you just wanna like push it down like that. So you get this indention and this part will be the crust and it'll be nice, thick and crispy. Okay, so now it's time for what we're gonna put on the pizza. And today, honestly, we're just gonna be making a plain cheese pizza because I'm all about like pepperoni and stuff. But to be honest, like cheese pizza is the OG. It's like the best kind of pizza. So I'm tired of people like making up all these new pizza flavors. Like, I don't know, last time I went to this place and they put cranberries on pizza and I was like, why? Why would you do that? Sit down and eat your cheese pizza. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna sit down and eat my cheese pizza. But let me tell you something. I got some fresh mozzarella. This is official stuff. Like this is an official recipe. I'm using fresh mozzarella. How much better can that get? I've got my Prego pizza sauce. Pizzeria style, because we're in Patrick's Pizzeria, obviously. Like, what else would you expect? We have Mexican style cheese blend, because I'm cultured, so we're gonna be using some Mexican style cheese. Okay, so my strategy is to just like put some on there and hope that it works, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, two, I think I'll try three scoops. Let's see if that's enough. This is actually pretty satisfying. Okay, so I think we're good on that. And now we're gonna add the cheese. First, I'm gonna start off with this Mexican cheese blend. So I'm just gonna like sprinkle this, you know, just like wherever. Okay, so now that I've got the sauce and the cheese on my pizza, we need to put on some of this fancy fresh mozzarella. Gluten-free. I guess I'm being healthy today. Gluten-free pizza, there you go. I'm gonna use this big knife to cut this because I'm not gonna lie, whenever you're cutting things, it's so much more fun to do it with a big knife. Like, just like snip, 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 you know? So I'm here off to the side with this mozzarella and basically my plan with this is just to like cut thin slices so that it'll melt really easy on the pizza over there. So let's open it up. As you can see, we have the mozzarella. It's really squishy. And let's slice. So I'm just gonna go like this. That kind of worked. Okay, I guess I'll just keep doing that. So I got my thin slices and I honestly don't have a strategy on how to do this. Just like put it wherever you want to. So like put one there, put one there. Just try to be like proportional, you know what I mean? Okay, so I got my pizza and now I have to put it in the oven and I honestly don't know how long to put it in for. Ooh, that's hot. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so it's been like 13 minutes and if you look at the pizza, right now it looks pretty good, but like the crust isn't that golden brown color that all the pros say that your crust has to be. So, I don't know. I think I'll let it wait, but it looks really good and I'm honestly getting kind of emotional because pizza is like my favorite food and this pizza looks really good. Okay, so the pizza is actually done, but like now I have to wait again because the pizza has to cool down. Again, stupid pizza has to take it. So instead, I got my drink ready. I got a Capri Sun, obviously, if you know me, I'm basically like obsessed with Capri Suns. And I've been obsessed with Capri Suns like all years of my life. So I'm pretty excited to drink this today. And now, once again, don't worry guys, this is not sponsored. This is just me enjoying my Capri Sun. Okay, but honestly, Capri Sun, if you're watching, you should sponsor me. I'm like a really big fan. I have really good opinions on all the flavors, so. If you get a new flavor, hit me up. Finally got the pizza to cool down enough and I cut a slice, here it is. Honestly, this looks so good. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the crust to cheese ratio. I think I should have spread it out even more, but then it would have been bigger than 15 inches. So that recipe is false. 
Anyways, I'm gonna try this and yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, here we go. Mm. Oh, yes. This is so good. I'm so happy this turned out well. Okay, side note real quick. People that don't eat crust really stress me out. Like, why don't you eat it? It's just bread. It's nothing bad for you. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought of it. If you like pizza, give this video a like. And if you don't like pizza, you're lying. So still, you should like the video. Anyways. <coughs> Ooh, that one was juicy. If you decide to do this recipe yourself, you should take a picture of your pizza and send it to me on Twitter. My username is at Patrick underscore Zajac. I'll put it on the screen right here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos because this is pretty fun. I like making these. And leave the comments down below like what should I cook next on another Cooking with Patrick. And I guess that's it. So peace.